In the 1896 year, Charles Pate, together with his brothers, created a film studio, which by the 1950 year became the largest not only in Europe, but throughout the world. In the year 1908 its Moscow branch was opened, which was engaged in the production of its own and the distribution of foreign films in Russia. The first film shot in Russia was the Moscow Clad in Snow documentary. The premiere of the film took place on the 9th of April 1909 in the USA. The first episode of the film was shot due to the Moscow River from Moskvaretsky Bridge. Here in the frame there was a diverting archer of the Tinitskaya Tower, dismantled in the early 30s of the 20th century. Until 1917, a Kremlin signal cannon was fired daily from the archery platform, notifying Muscovites of the onset of noon. Behind the Kremlin wall, we see the Annunciation and Archangel Cathedral of the Moscow Kremlin, the architectural ensemble of the Bell Tower of Ivan the Great and the destroyed monument to Alexander II. The dismantling of the bronze statue of Alexander II began in June 1918, and the demolition of the memorial was finally completed in the 1928 year. You can see the domes of the Church of Constantine and Elena in Tainitsky Garden, demolished in 1928, and in the distance you can see the Ascension Cathedral of the Ascension Convent, blown up in 1929. On the right we see the Beckler Mischia Tower, built in 1488 by the Italian architect Mark Friesen. The Red Square. In the foreground is a monument to Minin and Pazarski at its original installation site. In 1931, during the reconstruction of the Red Square, the monument was transferred to the Intercession Cathedral, better known as Street. Basil's Cathedral, where it stands to this day. View of the Nikolskaya Tower from the old building of the armory, demolished in 1959. Tsar Kanan, a masterpiece of Russian gunsmiths. In the 30s of the 19th century, exhibited at the front of the armory. In the 60s of the 20th century, it was moved to the northern facade of the belfry of the Ivan the Great Bell Tower, where it is still located. Small Nikolaev Palace on the Venovo Square of the Moscow Kremlin. In 1929, the palace was dismantled along with the adjacent Chudev and Ascension monasteries. To the left of the palace is the Metropolitan Corps of the Chudev Monastery and the Church of the Annunciation. To the left, we see the Alexevskaya Church of the Chudev Monastery. This is a complex of two buildings, the refectory and the church itself. The neo-Gothic style porch was added to the refectory in the 70s of the 18th century. Tsar Bell, a monument of Russian foundry art of the 18th century. The bell was cast on the orders of Empress Anna Yonovna in 1735 in memory of her reign. Molding and casting was carried out in a special pit dug on Ivanovskaya Square east of the belfry. In 1737, during a fire, it was damaged. Repeated attempts to extract the bell from the pit failed. Only in 1836 the bell was raised and installed on a pedestal, where it stands today. Street Kuznets Bridge The episode was shot with a view towards Neglinaya Street after crossing with Petrovka. On the right is the Solodovnikovsky Passage, built in 1862 by the architect Nikitin, commissioned by the merchant Solodovnikov. The front facade along the Kuznetsk Bridge occupied the entire block between Petrovka and Neblinaya. Since the beginning of the 1880s, art exhibitions have been held in the halls of the passage. In mid-November 1904, one of the first Moscow cinemas, the Cinema Theatre, was opened by the photographer Alexander Rosenwald in the passage. After a short closing at the end of the season, Rosenwald opens the Kinephone cinema in the old place, and even later the Odeon.
The Passage Building was destroyed in 1941st year as a result of the bombing of Moscow by Nazi aircraft. Episodes of the fair in Okutni riot on Muslinitsa week before Lent. The film was shot by the French cameraman Joseph Louis Mondwiller, who, under the pseudonym Georges Meyer, worked in Russia from 1971-1914. He also directed the film. First, Meyer worked as an assistant court cinematographer, then in the Russian branch of Pate Brothers, and later in the Timon and Reinhardt Trading House. In Russia, Meyer filmed the Royal Chronicles, worked on a series of specific paintings under the general title, Picturesque Russia. Also, he owns the shooting of Leo Tolstoy. During his work in Russia, he shot about 70 films. He had a great influence on the development of the Russian cinematography school and is considered one of the pioneers of Russian cinema. In 1914, with the outbreak of World War I, he was expelled from Russia, as he was a subject of the German Empire, and under his real name continued to work as a cameraman in France. Since the mid-19th century, Petrovsky Park is not only a popular place for festivities, but also a prestigious aristocratic summer cottage. Moreover, by the beginning of the 20th century, due to the development of summer cottage construction, the green spaces of the park were so reduced that in 1907 Tsar Nicholas II forbade distributing the lands of Petrovsky Park for cottages. In the second half of the 19th century, the famous Yal and Strelna restaurants were built in the park. Among the visitors of which were Sadva Morozov, Anton Chekhov, Alexander Kaprin, Maxim Gorky, Fedor Chalyapin, as well as Grigory Rasputin. According to contemporaries, Strelna with the summer branch of Mauritania was one of the sites of then Moscow. It had a huge winter garden, centennial tropical trees, grottos, cliffs and fountains. On September 5, 1918, immediately after the announcement of the Red Terror, in Moscow Petrovsky Park Cheka held a public demonstrative shooting of hostages from representatives of the highest officials of the former Russian Empire. Altogether, about 80 people were executed. In 1928, the Dynamo Stadium was built on the territory of the park. The Russian branch of the paid company operated until 1913. By 1910, up to 70% of the then film market in Russia was under control of the representative office. In 1913, the production of feature films was discontinued, and the company was sold to the Timon and Reinhardt Trading House. In 1919, the production of the first Soviet phonograph records with recordings of Lenin's speeches was organized on the basis of the Pate Factory. Panoramic view from the Filaret extension of the Aspenskaya Belfry of the Kremlin. Overview of the west side from the height of the belfry. In the foreground are the domes of the Aspensky Cathedral of the Moscow Kremlin. In the distance, you can see the bell tower of the Krestovozovonsky Church, demolished in 1934. On the right is the Manage, and in front of it is the Trinity Tower of the Moscow Kremlin. Overview from the east side of the belfry. Right in front of us is the memorial to the monument to Alexander II, opened in August 1898. Behind it is the dome of the church of Constantine and Elena.
The film was digitally remastered by the Documentary History Studio. Archival records of the early 20th century performed by Fyodor Chalyapin were used as musical accompaniment. Aria of the Varangian Guest, Noisy, Walked Away, Elegy.